Well, uh, another year. Uh, I mean, now it's been, I think, four for you. Like, what's uh, what's it been like to kind of have this be a, a stable place where, where you've gotten comfortable over the years? Yeah, it's definitely been uh, a treat, that's for sure. Um, obviously, I feel like time time flies and uh, fourth year is already done. And um, I feel like that's always a good thing, um, especially when you're having fun, enjoying time. Uh, you know, coming to the rink every day with the boys. Um, I feel like that's just always a pleasure and um, just being in a spot where you feel comfortable now and um, coming into a place or an organization. Uh, I feel like, especially turning your first year pro, you're kind of trying to figure out everything and, you know, you kind of moving away from home on your own for the first time. So you try to figure everything out. And I feel like over the past four years, I've really matured and in that sense, uh, you know, away from the rink, taking care of myself and uh, kind of really understanding um, what I need to do to, you know, show up every day and um, be my best. So um, I just think all in all, um, it's a great spot here in LA. And um, I feel like from the organization, they do everything they can to help you out and um, just really set you up to be successful. Probably, you know, your relationship with the fans has changed over the years as well. I mean, you come in, maybe not getting as many starts in the first year and, you know, trying to establish yourself. And now fans, they know you, they're supporting you. I mean, what's it been like for you to have that relationship with them where it definitely feels like people are excited when you get the net? It's definitely very cool. Um, especially at like our team events we do with like the rain gala, you get to, you know, see fans uh, over the years. And then even at the rink, I like our, we auction off our team jerseys, um, doing all that fun stuff. It's. Uh, just kind of need to kind of interact with them. And um, it's got always kind of cool when, um, you know, you start to get a few more fans and they, they're behind and they got your back and uh, they're rooting for you. And it's definitely a very cool feeling. I feel like in Ontario, we have a great fan base and they're very supportive and um, they're definitely, uh, it's a treat to play in front of them every night. And I feel like uh, whenever my opportunity came in the net, all I really want to do is go out there and, uh, you know, play the best I could. and. Um, you know, obviously we're, we want to win games and that's the main goal of, you know, going to a game every night, but also you, you want to also do it for the fans who come to watch. And obviously at the end of the day, they're the ones supporting us and, um, just always kind of cool to, you know, get in there, play, play as best you can and give them a good show. When you think back, uh, on the year, obviously, you know, it ended early. You guys didn't want to be in this situation, but uh, for you, it's it seemed like there were pretty, pretty some good nights. I mean, some good highs. Uh, what do you kind of remember about this year? What sticks out as some of the the moments that that went well for you? Yeah, I think probably the biggest one was my hundred AHL game. Um, I feel like you know going back to you know already in year four and times flying. It's like I'm already at like a hundred games, and I feel like. When you first turn pro, like you don't know how many games you're really gonna get, and then you finally hit that 100 mark. It's that was definitely a cool night, and you know, get a get a good win on on a night like that, and get to share with all the boys and um, even the fans for that matter. It was that was a very cool experience. And then just looking back on the year, I, you know, I felt like all I want to really do this year is just be consistent and uh, just show up every day, work as hard as I can, control what I can control, and whenever the opportunity came, just get in the net and. Um, just, you know, give it, give it my all. And uh, I feel like for the most part, I was pretty consistent. And, uh, you know, it's just, you know, trying to look back at a couple of games. I feel like I had a game at Colorado at home. Maybe it was like a 42 save night. So I was definitely a real good confidence booster for myself. Just like knowing that, you know, like I, I know I can play in this league and I can play a lot of games and, um, and also I can help, help the team win too. So. I just feel like nights like that and moments like that are kind of just um, they're cool little moments for myself and um, just very reassuring for sure. You have a pretty tight bond with a lot of guys on the team. Um, you know, what's it like knowing that every year is different and, you know, for you this year, it seemed like you got along with everybody so well and, um, you know, things are not going to be the same. There's going to be roster turnover. There's going to be movement, but I'm sure you're going to keep uh, keep your relationships going with a lot of these guys. 100%. I feel like that's what it's all about. Um, you know, when hockey's all said and done one day, it's going to be, I think the things that we're all going to remember is, you know, the, the friendships we made and the memories. I don't think we're necessarily going to, you know, remember every single game, right? And um, I think that's the cool part is, you know, guys always coming and, coming and going. And um, I know for me, Percy, like, when I turned pro, like, 
we had a lot of great older guys and guys who made me feel welcomed and um, you know like I was part of the team right away and I just feel like where I'm at now um, in my career now like I'm kind of a little bit older so um, I know what's definitely been like and I was just like hanging out with guys who are getting called up from Greenville or um, just wherever they come from and kind of get to know them make them feel welcome and I think the biggest thing is is that really and just having fun and um, just being supportive so definitely uh, very cool just to meet meet new like people all the time and um, I think that's the biggest thing as long as you can make them feel comfortable that's when they're going to play their best and uh, just try to welcome them with open arms. Uh, last year you went back home uh, you were excited about going back home you had a good summer uh, anything different this year are you keeping your uh, your summer routine the same? Uh, it's gonna be the same. Uh, I'm gonna probably head home here, probably like May 6th or 7th, and then uh, gonna go home. Uh, turkey season's just opened up back home in Canada for me, so uh, my brother and my dad were gonna do that, and then we're gonna go do some bear hunting um, up near the Sioux um, with my billet parents. And then uh, other than that, just gonna get back in the gym and start working out uh, when my body feels good. And um, other than that, got a couple fishing tournaments I'm gonna do, and. Just very excited to get back to see some friends and family. Um, obviously, being away is always a little bit tough uh, sometimes. So, just gonna really, you know, take the time to spend time with family, grandparents, whatnot. So, uh, definitely looking very forward to it.